Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Today we'll be talking on wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Wisdom. Over 4 verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Hallelujah. Wisdom is the principal thing. Then what is the meaning of wisdom? Wisdom can be divine as knowing the right thing to do and doing it. Wisdom can be defined as knowing the right thing to do and doing it. There are four types of wisdom. Number one, we have earthly wisdom. Somebody say earthly wisdom. Earthly wisdom. Also known as common sense. For example, if you want to cook, you don't go to the, you don't go to the toilet to go and cook. It is common sense that will tell you to go to the kitchen. And if, for example, if a baby wants to eat, you don't put the food to his ear. You put it to his mouth. It was born with it naturally. It is natural. Hallelujah. Number two, we have intellectual wisdom. Somebody say intellectual wisdom. Intellectual wisdom. This is the wisdom gotten from schools and university. When you go to school and university and you come out, you come out with intellectual wisdom. Number three, we have worldly wisdom. Somebody say worldly wisdom. Worldly wisdom. Also known as devilish wisdom. Hmm. This is the wisdom that the devil gives its agents to use. This is the wisdom that Amrabah robber use, foreign night people use, hmm. and people that operate in worldly activities. This is the wisdom they use. People like us puppies, yes, it's those kind of wisdom they use. Hmm. And Omo Yahoo, don't go and join them. Hmm. Note, devilish wisdom may, may produce temporary success, hmm. but to come to nothing, the long run. All those success is temporary, it's not permanent. They said it's God that gives gives wealth with no sorrows. Am I right? Yes. Number four, last but not the least, you have divine wisdom. The wisdom from God. God giving wisdom. And the good and the good news is that anything from above is above all. Amen. So the wisdom from above is above all. Somebody tell your neighbor that the wisdom from above is above all. Wisdom from above is above all. How to get wisdom? Number one. Ask God for it. James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all man liberally. So if you don't have wisdom, ask for God, pray for it, and God will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number two, study the word of God. Hmm. The word of God is the gateway to divine wisdom. Psalms 19 verse 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the word of God, if you keep reading it, it will make you wise. You see, I grew up knowing my dad, asking God for wisdom every day. As praise God has become his habit every day, if you call him, you pick, you say praise God. Praise God. Even when we travel, he's still saying it. So that's why he also talks of wisdom every day. You see, the wisdom of God is important in every leader's life. For example, let's see how Solomon used the wisdom of God in First, first King chapter 3, verse 16 to 28. And he says, Then two allots came to the king and stood before him. The one woman said, Oh my Lord, this woman and I dwell in the same house, and I gave birth to a child while she was in the house. Mm. Then on the third day after I was delivered, this woman also gave birth. Mm. And we were alone in the house. No one else was with us in the house. Only we two were in the house. Jesus. Verse 19, And the woman's son died in the night because she lay on it. Verse 20, And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me mm. while your meat servant slept. And laid it in her bosom and laid a dead son in my bosom. Jesus. You see wickedness. Verse 21. Ah, when I rose up in the morning the, to nurse my child, behold, it was dead. But when I looked closely, it was not the child that I bore. Verse 22. But the other woman said, No, the living child is mine and the dead child is yours. The first said, No, the dead child is yours and the living child is mine. This they spoke before the king. Verse 23. Then the king said, this one says, this is my son that is alive, and your son is dead. And the other says, no, but your son is dead, and my son is the living one. Verse 24, Solomon speaking. The king said, bring me a sword. So a sword was brought before the king. Verse 25, and the king said, divide the living child in two, and give half to one, and another half to another. Hmm. Then the woman whose son was alive said to the king, because her heart yearned for her son, oh my lord, oh my lord, give her the living child, and by no means slay it. But the other said, it shall, not, it shall be neither mine nor yours. Mm. Verse 27. Ten. Then the king answered and said, Give the living child to the first two, the first two man, Ten. and by no means slay it. She is its mother. Mm. Verse 28. And all Israel heard of, his, heard of the judgment which the king has rendered. And they stood in awe for the king, because they perceived the wisdom of God was with him to render justice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will give you wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
God will give your children wisdom too in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for divine wisdom for our leaders in Nigeria. Let's open our mouth and begin to declare wisdom for our leaders in Nigeria. Oh Lord, we ask that you give our leaders wisdom in the mighty name Father, of Jesus. The mighty name of wisdom Jesus. to win in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray we for all our leaders. leaders. Give them wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. In the political aspects, yes. the doctoral aspects, yes. even in your family, there's a leader there. Ask God for wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, before we, we move on, I just want to, to tell us the reason why we need prayer for this country. I don't know. What's the name? Mutual Lakov. Where's Timothy? Then this is my young brother. Come, I need you. Yeah. Where's Chinaza? I need Chinaza. Where is she? Is he around? Yeah. God bless you. So, you are my secretary. Then, you... Let me say, you are my driver. So, you come. Yeah. This is another secretary. You can come over this place. So, that's the reason why we need prayer in this country. Now, somebody came to my office in Abuja. He paid 50 million for the cloth. She's telling me that somebody came and paid 50 million in, to my office in Abuja. Then, this is the person in our office in Lagos. He said somebody brought 25 million. Then, I said you should give it to PA. Where's PA? Where's PA? Then, PA dropped the money inside the car. Then, a week after, when we need to pay salary, then this one drop, how many million do you drop into this? You drop 50 million in my account. Then how many million do you drop cash? You brought 25 million, then a week before ending of the month. Then, where's my driver? Then did the driver pick 25 million inside my boot? Then, just a week before salary, then by the ending of the month, I'm telling these young people that they should be praying for salary. I have no salary. That they should be praying. That is where we find ourselves in this country. With upon the money you send into my account, I'm still telling you that we should be praying for salary. You send 50 million you send 25 million cash. Then I want to pay the salary of 1 million. Then I say you people should be praying. Do you see the wicked world we find ourselves? God should forgive all of us in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs>